Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new, I'm Anna Mae. As I've mentioned in other videos before on this channel, I really like to needlepoint. And a couple of months ago, I had the idea of needlepointing a headband. I thought it would be really cute, and I wear a lot of headbands. But I was busy with the schoolwork, and it, you know, it was always in the back of my mind. But then, I'm done with school now, but we're still locked down here in Ireland. So I decided to get all of the, I was gonna say ingredients, the bits together to try and needlepoint my own headband. As you may have noticed, I'm actually wearing it today. It turned out really, really well. And I posted a photo of it on Instagram. If you're watching this, you probably already follow me on Instagram at AMK Needlepoint. My main Instagram is at Anime by Design. But I posted a photo of this right before on my story before going to bed one night um, a couple of days ago and because it was almost done and I woke up and it was so confusing. I had over 20 messages and I don't have very many followers. Like I have over 600 followers in that account but I didn't realize people were so engaged and a lot of people asked for a tutorial so here it is. I considered adding this to my shop but it's just not something I can really take on board right now. I'm looking for a job. I'm really hoping to get a job. So that's fun post-grad in a pandemic but that's a topic for another time. I'm just going to walk you through how exactly I did this. I'll take it off so you can see. It turned out really really well. I When I posted photos I didn't show the grow grain ribbon on the inside or the ends. That's something I've added since. But yeah, I'm hopefully going to add some other clips in on top of me talking, showing kind of how I did it. I have a couple of clips that I recorded after people started to ask for tutorials because I wasn't recording the whole process beforehand. But I have photos and videos that I can insert over me talking and a couple of things I can show you. So sorry for the super long intro. Let's get into it. So the basics. What do you need for this project? It obviously depends on what exactly you're gonna stitch onto the headband. This I wanted to be like a winter, like an autumn winter wool looking headband. And that's what I got. So I stitched this on 10 count interlock. So interlock, um, it seems to be much more popular over here in Europe. It is sometimes known as interlock, sometimes known as twist, and it was 10 count because uh, that's what I had scrap. I am one of those people who leaves no piece of canvas behind. So I had saved a long strip and I was like, this will work for something. And it did. So I used 10 count interlock. And then for this particular pattern, if you want these exact colours, I'm going to leave the DMC wool numbers down below. I'm someone who cannot go into store and purchase things. I would obviously support a local needlepoint shop if I could, but I... I don't know if you've guessed by my accent. I'm from Ireland and I live here. I am completely Irish. Um, I actually used to live in the United States. I actually used to live pretty much around the corner from Annie's, like Needlepoint and Yarn Store in New York City. So that's cool, but now I live here. So I have to purchase all of my stuff online. These were kind of the colors that I was able to put together best online. I only needed one skein of each. I bought two of each just to be safe, but for this gingham, four colors. Then of course you're gonna need a fabric covered headband or just a headband in general. For this particular design, you can see it's a bit more padded. I have a headband that is kind of similar to this that I would just show you. Um, it's one that has a little bit of padding and it's a little bit rounded. This one is from another shop. It was a headband I actually purchased from ASOS. I didn't like the colour so I tried to put velvet ribbon on top and that looked terrible so I ripped it off so it was beat up and I was just keeping it for a project someday. The day is today. I think the benefit of using a fabric covered headband already is that there's a bit more like grip when you're putting something down whereas if it was just like hard plastic I feel like it could slide when you're stitching it on. So that's my advice. Although I will be hopefully stitching another headband that's much larger and it's just gonna be on plastic. So whatever you have, whatever works. Just kind of maybe use a headband you don't really like if you already have one. Then of course, a hot glue gun. That's something that you only really need for the end stages of things. Some pearl cotton, and this was a real hack. Pearl cotton is what you're gonna to want to use to stitch. And some grow grain ribbon. I think the one I have is about 0.75 of an inch. What you really need is just something that'll cover the leftover canvas in the inside and just so it won't like rough up your hair. So obviously the first thing you're going to want to do is stitch on your canvas. So if you have some design that you already 
have I'll insert here sorry about this paint on the wall that's from me stretching while holding a paintbrush um this is the gingham that I used I just kind of made it on mag stitch but um this is not like how wide it was or anything I don't have exact measurements for how wide you're going to want it to be you want it long enough to cover to like wrap around most of your headband and wide enough to cover it completely I'm going to take this off so as you can probably tell I can hide things in my hair it's full so I knew that like finishing in the edges was not going to be massively important for me because I don't straighten my hair very much and it kind of just like nestles in there so you wouldn't really be able to tell but maybe if you have straighter hair you might be more conscious of that but I don't really know how to fix that problem apologies my canvas does not come to the end but it wraps fully around in the inside that was something I was very conscious of I wanted it to fully wrap around to give it a more like puffy look one thing I considered doing but did not end up doing as you'll see from this photo that I took I was posting on Instagram a lot of people thought it was a bookmark um, but I was asking people to like guess what it was I did not taper the stitches even though the headband tapers it was just going to be too confusing and I wanted to ensure it had full coverage on the edges so I just decided to have extra canvas in the middle and then have the stitches fully wrap and like come into the inside under here because it was just going to be like too much like maths for me so we didn't do that but that part is pretty simple so then when it comes to actually attaching it to the headband I did not use anything to like stick it on to the headband originally I just stitched it on because it was wool so it had kind of a grip and it was on the fabric so it just kind of stays in place so I found the center of the strip of canvas I had stitched and I found the center of the headband and I just put a pin and just stuck it the whole way through to keep it kind of level then what I did was I actually used doubled over pearl cotton to stitch it so I'm going to insert a clip over me talking if I can of what it looked like so I just stitched it in and looped it around to kind of lock it in um, like threaded it through the loop and pulled it really really tight but I found that the pearl cotton held it really really well I've used like polyester thread to stitch things before and I actually ended up cutting myself so I'm not a fan when you want something to be really tight. I think the pearl cotton works really, really well. So I just stitch that in and out and just make sure that one, you know which side is on the bottom, and which side is on the top of the two edges of canvas that are folding in, if that makes sense. Like when you're wrapping them, you keep that consistent so that it's not too lumpy and bumpy under there. And feel free to just like snip off little chunklets of canvas that are starting to like bubble up or wrinkle up. Just snip, just cut them off get rid of them because all of this is going to get glued down anyways in a minute. I stitched that the whole way down and then the edges of the canvas I had a little bit of raw canvas if you know what I mean at each end and I just weaved it in and out and pulled that really tight so it was almost like it was smocked at the ends and that enabled me to have like a really tight really good headband. That was the photo that I posted on Instagram. Whilst that looked really cute and it looked fine once it was on my head because as I said my hair can hide multitudes. I wanted to give it a nicer finish. Um, still not a perfect finish but like good enough for me. I grabbed some grow grain ribbon. I used to sell hair bows so I have quite a collection of grow grain ribbon and I got this nice like warm cream and it happened to be this particular set of ribbons that I have it happens to be perfectly sized for this headband. So the first thing I did was glue down piece of grow grain that covered all of the rough stitches and I really went to town on that hot glue. I wanted this it to kind of not only be sticking the ribbon down but to keep everything in place in, clay, in case like some of the canvas was to snap and then everything would come loose. So everything is really stuck down there. Then of course I wanted to have like little ends on it because as I said there was raw canvas so what I did was get the grow grain and have it come past the end and glue it on the outside and then take little strips and wrap them around and glue them in the inside. So I'll give a little close-up clip of that, what that looks like. And I think that's a really neat way of finishing the edges. Um, I am afraid I've already gotten makeup on this lovely cream ribbon so please excuse that but that was how I kind of finished the edges of that headband and 
it works just fine and I know I'm going to be wearing this all the time I think it's a really fun wearable project some needlepoint things are like things that just like live in your home and they're just kind of stationary so it's kind of nice to have stuff that you can wear out and about um, but it's still pretty subtle I just think it looks really nice and it's kind of fancy you know so hopefully that made things a little bit more clear if you were curious about trying to make your own. I'm definitely going to be making more because I think they look really really cute. If you have any more questions feel free to message me at AMK Needlepoint or just leave a comment down below here. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see any more of my content but that's it for now.